Today's the day we're gonna meet the OP team. Finally, can't wait. So we're going to Landers, California, where OPT has a bunch of remote telescopes. And uh, we actually had a video um, about that, but sadly we made a mistake. Uh, we imaged M57 taking uh, crazy long exposures. Like the nebula was way too blown out, so this video is still on hold. It will come at some point, but anyway, today we're going to go there in person. See it's going people, to be fantastic. it's going to be amazing. All right, let's take the mountain out. Of course, on the day that I meet the OP team, I have no idea where my OP t-shirts. I wear them all the time, so I have just I have no idea where they are. I check the dryer, check my closets. So I'm about to have a BF. The road to California was pretty long. We were going to Landers, about three and a half hours away from Vegas. We left right after I finished work. On the way there, we saw some beautiful desert landscapes which is something I don't think that we'll ever get used to. We were hoping to beat the sun before we got to Landers and it offered a beautiful sunset. Landers is in a Bottle 3 area, which is similar to our usual imaging spot in Nevada. Unfortunately, we arrived when it was already dark, but we quickly set up. All right, so we're setting up now. It's already dark, sadly, but the road took a while, so... Okay. So now I can balance very quick. Collimated almost perfectly. And then we'll finally be ready. I'm trying to go super quick. When you've been collimating for years and years, you can be very quick. It's done. We had a beautiful sight on Comet Neowise, and that night we imaged a cocoon nebula. You can see a single shot here on the cocoon nebula. It looked nice and we had a fun time trying to frame the object just right so the tail would fit in there. We became so tired. So much so that we decided to call Dustin and ask him if we could sleep inside the observatory for the night. Thankfully, he said yes. And while we were in there, we got to witness the most ginormous telescope we've ever seen in our lives. So huge. Oh, it's so huge. It's a plane wave. Damn. So this mount is the same as ours, but the crazy one. Mm -hmm. Look at the weights on this thing. Oh, it's so crazy. We wish that we could have taken an image or a short video of the telescope, but someone was controlling it remotely and, you know, it's beyond us to use our lights and ruin somebody else's images, so we left it alone. We had a very short night, but it was such an amazing experience to sleep under the stars next to such a huge telescope. Amazing! We woke up just before dawn and could not believe the sight in front of our eyes. Here is our final image of the Cocoon Nebula. It turned out pretty well. It was time to pack up and go to our hotel to rest. Alright, so we just woke up not too long ago. Uh, we packed up everything and put it in this place for the time being because it's a rocky road back to where we're going to our hotel. And uh, we're just leaving it here so that we can come back and do it again tonight. And of course, in Galactic Hunter tradition, we sought out some animals. Oh, look at that. Some crazy desert ants everywhere. Oh, it's an ant nest. While at the hotel, we decided to check in on Gilbert because for the first time ever, we had a camera inside the house. And she saw us, or heard us. 
we talked to her and she actually sat down to listen. So it is the afternoon and we barely got any sleep. Um, so we're going out tonight to go image with everybody. Yeah, so we cannot wait to go tonight and finally meet in person uh, people like Dustin, the CEO of OPT, as well as our friends like, you know, Brave Falls and uh, Ian and Mac. I mean, there's a bunch of people we've been talking to for the past year, uh, but never met in the past, so... Uh, it's exciting to be in person. Very can't wait. crazy at this time, of course, but, you know, we're socially responsible. Wow, Swan, it sure is hot in here, huh? We're dying. We are dying. Look at that. Uh, 111 Fahrenheit. On the drive there, we were so excited to finally be meeting the members of this community that we've longed to see for so long. That night, we met Dustin, the CEO of OPT, and the guy who has helped us out so much in the past year and a half. Travis, who is an incredible photographer and has been featured in so many magazines but is so down to earth. Mac, an insane light painter who has become an instant bro and is so hilarious. Bray, another bro whose images are some of the best that we've ever seen and is our inspiration for getting APOD. Ian, he's the one who reached out to us to join the OP team and we cannot thank him enough. Diana, who's an aspiring astrophotographer paving the way for other female astrophotographers. And Rafael, the next big Hollywood director. And the Butterfingers. Oh, and Mitchell who you're about to meet soon. Oh yeah. Woo! This looks pro. Oh my god. about to be interviewed. How cool is that? Oh. I know exactly what, what I'm doing. What did I just say? You <laughs> had a button, you... Butterfingers. Butterfingers. Oh my god. This looks really cool. I'm trying one of Bray's famous Here is a single shot of M29, our target for the night. So what are we guys, what are we doing now? <laughs> Getting drunk. Also, yeah, but <laughs> and as a combination, like we're gonna be looking for scorpions, looking for scorpions and snakes. Yeah. Mm. yeah, looking for scorpions. So that's pretty dumb, but we're gonna be using this uh, this scorpion finder. What is it called? That is a scorpion UV, finder, that's right. A UV light, right? No, it's just scorpion finder. That's officially what they're called. Okay, let's go. One million percent, we're gonna find him. I was out here with Kurt not long ago, and he found the biggest fucking scorpion. Yeah. One million percent, my ass. There's nothing. Okay. <laughs> okay. Keep walking until one of them tackles you. Alright, we gotta get in the bushes where they are. Now, do snakes actually glow in this too or not? No, they don't. Okay, That's so the it's, problem. Yeah. Alright, here's the bushes. Here's where we're gonna find them. Oh my god. They are out here. Here's oh. a little trail. Walk in this trail, and you will see them. Right. <laughs> <laughs> It's so scary. <laughs> it feels like Blair Witch. Yeah. In this bush, probably. Over here. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, they, they glow super bright. You'll know if you see one. There? Oh, nope, hey. there's one. Hey. Yep. Yeah. yeah, this green thing. Can we have a raft or something with it? Are you sure? Oh, it is. It yep. is, it is, it is. Oh, cool. Holy smokes. Wow. Wow, it's crazy. You gonna touch it? I'm gonna be dumb and go f it super close. They're little. Eat it. That one's kind of little, yeah. 
first time seeing a real life scorpion. You should poke it with the stick to watch it. Maybe. Put it. Yeah. He don't bite. Put it's it, my man. guest. <laughs> All right. Come on, Dustin, show how strong you are. <laughs> somebody touch, touch it. Touch I'm not gonna touch here, it. Here. I just want somebody to. We'll oh, fuck with it. Come on, buddy. Do something. <laughs> Is he dead? Wake yeah. up. Dude, don't be like hyper. Uh, Move! Move! He's asleep! Oh, he might be scared. Oh, oh um, poor guy, guys. There Come he on. Is, there he is. I want him to like do a pose at me or something, try to fight. I don't care, dude. He's pretty chill. Yeah, he can he can hang with us, honestly. This is uh Mitchell. <laughs> I've seen him here before. <laughs> Mitch. This one's alright. <laughs> Yeah, I wonder if there's bigger ones. I bet you won't touch it. <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> I don't want to get up in Mitchell's personal space like that. He has some uh, deep traumas. I don't want to play with it. Something bit me. Oh my god. No yeah, something bit me. A plant? Yeah, something bit me. Not wrong? Look right here. Well, there's nothing around. Probably a plant. Okay, it was a plant. A plant. <laughs> <laughs> a plant food. No, check it, check it. Make sure I'm not gonna die. Yeah, you're alive, it's okay. You're fine. I'm pretty solid. Alright. Oh, it's that fucking thing. Yeah, All one right. of those things. Alright. Everything. Freaking under... braids and freaking flip flops. <laughs> this is okay, Are you insane? <laughs> this, is, this is like a normal Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel at risk at all. <laughs> <laughs> With these things everywhere. <laughs> this ain't my first rodeo, Dustin. This ain't my first rodeo. Oh, no. <laughs> That's gold. <laughs> it was such a great evening, and it was so amazing to meet all these incredible people. Each person was just so hilarious and had such a wonderful personality. It was fun to see everyone's gear. There were Mighty Mounts, Star Adventure Pros, Radiant Tripods, this Hobo Mount which has no counterweights, which is pretty crazy, and this secret telescope which shall be revealed later. We stopped to grab lunch, but due to COVID, we weren't allowed to eat inside. So we took our food to the park and had a nice picnic. And so once again, here is our single shot of M29. And once processed, here is a final image. Such an incredible area of the sky, so much gas and an impressive cluster. Alright guys, so we hope you liked this video. Uh, it was so nice to go there and meet everyone. It was an amazing night. So incredible, like, it was so good meeting people in the flesh. And I know it's like COVID times, but I mean, we're all being safe and everybody was just such a treasure, honestly. And next time we go, we'll try to do more filming in terms of telescope stuff and uh, the team and stuff. We were just having way too yeah, much fun. Yeah, it was just too fun. It was so. too fun. So make sure you guys watch the video, the full interview. Um, on OPT's site or Facebook or Instagram and we'll see you guys next time and kiss guys. Upgrading equipment, we're gonna keep taking more complicated pictures like it's just we get to grow with it I think is the future for us because we love doing this. <laughs>